it's me again. Um, so today I feel led to speak on the topic of depression. Um, I feel like it's really heavy on the heart of the Lord to just deal with that topic, um, partially because there are so many people who are losing loved ones um, and there are so many who are going through a lot right now um, with the economic downturn and sickness, disease, all kinds of things. So in order to combat that, we have to stay in prayer. And it is a very important topic. So I'm just going to share what I have with you. And I pray that somehow, some way, it results in um, either helping whoever, you for watching or whoever you share it with or help you to help somebody, whatever the case may be. So here is my discussion um the first thing i want to share about depression is that it can be um combated um depression is actually spoken about in the bible as a spirit of heaviness so um let me just start with prayer all right father i pray you'll bless whoever is watching um pray you'll cover them with the oil of joy and just deliver them from a spirit of heaviness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Also, I pray that anybody that they're trying to help, Father God, I pray that you'll bless them. Those people, their friends and family who are going through anything, um, any down feelings of sorrow, grief, anything, I pray that you'll bless them and cover them with your blood um, and deliver them from those things now. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, we pray, amen. There's a scripture that says that the... Uh, the Lord will give us a oil, the oil of joy for a spirit of heaviness. And God does not want us to be full of sorrow. Um, in the Old Testament, when Elijah was very depressed, he had just done so much for the Lord. Um, he was like, Lord, please take me out of here. And he was like, God told him just, you know, rest and eat. He made him stop and rest and eat. Um, one of the things we can definitely do anytime you're down is to look at your physiological situation are you taking care of your body are you taking care of your basic physical needs um if you're not eating probably should get something to eat drink some water um take some vitamins whatever it is that's going to help you to get into a place physically where you're able to at least lift your hands up so you can worship god um if you don't have Christ as your salvation, then you need to get Jesus Christ. Pray and he will come to you. The Bible says if you draw nigh to God, he'll draw nigh to you. But if you are um, doing everything you can and you still can't seem to get to break it, then here um, there's a couple other things that you can do. You can pray. Um, you can ask the Lord to take away a spirit of heaviness from your life. Just take it away. Um, one of the things that I tend to do, if I feel like I'm hearing voices, because a lot of times um, we have depression because we're hearing the voice of the enemy. The enemy sounds like an accuser. Um, if you're listening to a lot of secular music, secular media, um, negative people, they tend to speak in an accu accusatory fashion. In other words, they're not saying positive things that are gonna lift you up and make you feel like, oh, this is gonna, my life is gonna be great. They're gonna say things that make you feel down, depressed, discouraged, irritated, things like that. When you're hearing things that are like insinuating things, accusing you, um, making you feel like you're not valuable, making you feel like you're not worthy, it's obviously gonna pull you into a direction you don't wanna go. So my suggestion, Turn off anything that's, turn all those things off. If you got to turn off your phone, turn off your television, turn off your radio, turn off your MP3 player, turn off whatever it is and just listen to the voice of the Lord. You got to say, and actually in prayer, you should say something along the lines of, Lord God, I pray you'll place a hedge of protection around my mind so that only your voice will come through. Um, if you, when my mother passed away, one of the things that I realized is the enemy decided he was going to visit me with a spirit of suicide, depression, and all that. It must have been maybe a week after my mother passed away. I left my, I went out of my house. I, I removed myself from my home environment, went to my van. And in my van, I had to do self-deliverance. And I literally got in my van and I said, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke the spirit of depression. I rebuke the spirit of suicide from off of my life. 
I had to go in and I had to pray against those things in the name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus Christ is the only name above all names. We have to take authority over these things. And it's by his grace that we are able to recognize it. Um, so uh, I just want to share with y'all. Okay, listen. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing. That means that the faith that we have can be transformed into um, something else if we're hearing the wrong things. You don't want to have fear in your life. You don't want to have discouragement in your life. Um, a lot of times those spirits are actually um, sent out by our enemy. People who are doing witchcraft, who are doing things like that are evil, uh, making covenants with the enemy. Then they put it in the music and then they pray over the music and they pray on you to make you discouraged, to make you feel angry, suicidal, depressed, all these things that you don't feel before you listen to your music, but then all of a sudden you feel it. Be mindful of what you're taking in. You've got to be very mindful of what you take in. Also, any idol and any idolatry, idolatry is so simple. Anything that gets in the way of God, anything that gets in the way, it could be your business, your career, it could be friends, family, it could be uh, money, it could be relationships, love, you could put a marriage on the idolatry section, anything, the Bible says that little children, keep, keep yourselves from idols, amen, I mean, when the Lord says that to us, he's trying to prevent us from getting discouraged, because God is showing us an idol is deaf and dumb, in other words, no matter how much you pray to an idol, it cannot answer your prayers, so you have to cut those things loose, any relationships that are not healthy you've got to cut ties you've got to stop those things or you've got to reposition those things so that they're working out in your favor you have to be honest with yourself a lot of times we don't take the time to really just listen to what's going on in our mind we listen to music we listen to tv we listen to our friends we get on the phone start talking sometimes what we really need to do is take a, a second maybe more than a second and get with God and really just say, Lord, here's my life. Be honest with God and just, here's my life. Is it right? Is it wrong? What do you want me to do? He will tell you exactly. I was so discouraged one time. The Lord sent me to the word. He said, here's what I want you to do. And he gave me specific detail. He does that all the time, by the way. But he put an end to some serious difficulties that I was dealing with in my life by giving me the word. And giving me specific instructions. God said that if you wait on the Lord and be of good courage, God will come and he will strengthen your heart. So wait on the Lord. A lot of times we just, you know, he that hasteth with his feet sinneth. We need to be mindful of what God wants us to do. Try to be patient. Try to be patient. But you've got to take care of the number one thing, which is your your knowledge of yourself. you got to know who God is and what God designed you to be. Because if you're not operating in the purpose that he has for you to operate in, it's going to be like superly, incredibly difficult to get broke free from any kind of discouragement, any kind of depression. Because what a lot of times we're just d dealing with, we're, um, we're feeding ourselves things that are like not necessarily um, healthy spiritually. Um, one of the things I had to share with my the Lord showed me was um, things have a spiritual grade to them. Um, if it's like a for God and put it, I'll just as an example, say like, a, you know, there's a scale of positive 10 to negative 10, right? And on a scale of positive 10 to negative 10, you got the stuff that's really pulling at you at negative 10. That's negative stuff, bad, demonic, whatever. Then you got the stuff that's really just pulling you toward the Lord, worship. Awesome. You're getting aligned with the Lord and you're really close with him. And because I, I do music, so the Lord would show me that every song has a grade. You've got to grade those things accordingly. So um, anything that you're watching, you can put a grade on it. If it's at zero, that is encouraging you to be lukewarm. If it's negative, there's killing, there's drugs and violence, all kinds of things, immoral sex and all that stuff. Excuse my language. But if those things are in it, those things are closer to the negative 10 range. So what you got to do is actually... Spend more of your time in this positive 10 range. If you can em eliminate the things that are zero and below, you're on the right track. A lot of times we have things going on in our lives that we just passively allow to come past that are just zero and below. Those zero and below things, 
will mess you up. They will put you in a place where you just don't need to be mentally. Um, not only that, spiritually as well. Um, our spiritual strength relies on, and our strength in Christ relies on our ability to stay to lay hold of positive things. And when we've been filling our spirit with negative things for the whole week, it's very difficult for us to get in the presence of God to be able to break free from those negative things. So I'm just going to shut, um, go ahead and wrap it up right now. But I just pray that some of this uh, has helped you. Uh, I want to thank you for listening and God bless you. I'm just going to say a quick prayer before I go, though. God, I pray that you'll please um, cover those uh, who are listening to this video. Cover them with your blood and fill them with your Holy Spirit, Father God, and bless them to be able to be encouraged in every way, Lord God. I pray that you'll deliver them from any kind of discouragement and give them a spirit of joy today, God. Pray that you'll bless them with the oil of joy and we thank you for everything that you're doing in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for listening and you have a wonderful day.